I want a joke, something I can laugh about. What is your funniest moment in life? Eh? Are you married, Axe? Who's the like, funniest moment in our life? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. No, they, no, keep recording. Keep recording. I just want to get something to laugh ah, about. Okay, okay, yeah. Just keep recording. As I say, keep recording. Don't stop. Okay. This is something we are not right. They come out from a mind. Okay, The Ox business. <laughs> <laughs>
Today, we're going to look into what has been keeping us backward, what has been causing the fall and the fall of our passion. And we're also going to talk about how we can transform this passion we have into something great. Remember, we, we spoke about collaboration as a key tool to get into where we want to go. So we're going to delve into it a bit more, talk about collaboration, the importance of collaboration. We're going to talk about the associations that we have in Gambia, how these associations can contribute into taking us from the falling to the rising. And we're also going to look into what really makes a great movie, what, what, what makes a great film. You know, we're going to get into it. You talk about the scripting, characters, you know, all of it. We're going to get into it today on Snippet Gambia. And remember, if you're joining us, and this is your first time of watching it, this is Snippet Gambia, and I'm your host, Mr. Genius. <laughs> Yes, we are back, and this is Snippet Gambia. And before we get into the discussion of the day, we, 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 we basically just want to take a look back as to um, our previous video where um, we, you know, we talked about, you know, we talked about the film industry. What, what is the film industry? You know, we, make, we, 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 we categorize what qualifies, you know, a, a body to be referred to as a film industry which brings us to the conclusion that Gambia doesn't have a film industry. Now, quickly, just take a look. Actually qualify, you know, the a film industry, um, the motion picture industry. Well, what, what, are, what are the things that are needed? You know, firstly, you talk about um, production houses. You talk about um, commercial interest and all that. How much commercial does the Gambia have? when it comes to marketing and distribution? Well, I would say, no, we don't. You know, and when you look all these factors being put together, you talk about the production houses, you talk about the equipment, you talk about the expertise, you talk about the film studios, you talk about marketing and distribution platforms. We don't have it all. No one wants to be here, the negative energy that is popping out. Now, we don't have this, we don't have that, we don't hear, we, but the earlier we're able to tell ourselves a few facts, the better for all of us, because Gambia can never go if we're not able to tell ourselves the truth. And the way to the next level is being truthful to ourselves. <laughs> Today, we, we, we just want to go and talk about, you know, the fall and fall of what we have um, in the Gambia, the passion that we have. Remember, we, previously, we already established the fact that we don't have um, a film industry. We just have a growing passion that we eventually turn into becoming a film industry. So we already established that fact. It's very much clear. Um, but what, what has been setting us backward? What, what is you know, causing us to be, um, to have a slow progress when it comes to, you know, where we're supposed to be in the global market, you know. And um, it's a question that I've actually asked myself over and over, because being a filmmaker myself, I, I do feel guilty sometimes that uh, maybe we're not doing as much as we're supposed to do, or we're, 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 we're just sitting on our craft, you know, not, not enhancing it to, to get to where we're supposed to go. Because um, as, as we mentioned previously, we have, like, for instance, our closest neighbor, Senegal, has a movie on Netflix. But we don't even have a movie on DSTV that I can point at as a Gambian movie on DSTV, let alone to talk about a movie on Netflix. And th these, are, these are the platforms that we should be targeting as filmmakers. You know? And we're not targeting them. And, and that, is, that, is, that is setting us backward. That is, that is putting us down. You know? So well, one of the things that I do capture that it has to do with, with the structure. We, we don't have, we, we haven't heard structures that are set. We, we have established structures that are there. But 
having a structure is not just about forming a guild or forming an organization to say you are responsible to run the affairs of filmmakers or filmmaking in the country. It's about how effective these structures are. You know, we've, we have, like for instance, you have the you have SAG, which is a Screen Actors Guild of the Gambia. And, uh, you know, we, we've had, we've had um, you know, energetic people that have been, you know, running the affairs of SAG. For instance, the previous president of SAG, um, She Umar Sawane, um, is, a, is a dynamic filmmaker, is, a, is, a, is an eloquent man. And uh, he, he started being an actor first. He was in the in theater, get into, you know, film acting and, you know, screen acting. And then he, he eventually became a, a movie director. He's now, he's now a director, he's a director of Fandema, um, um, multimedia, he's a multimedia company. You know, he, he, he was very passionate, very passionate about building SAG, you know, bringing actors together, you know, you know, uniting people, selling the idea of collaboration, connecting the pieces together. He was very passionate in doing it. But that structure does not depend on one person. You, one person can have the passion that I want to do this. But it's got to be all of us, you know, and I, I must say all of us have been guilty of that. Because in as much, for instance, myself, in as much I'm not a, I'm not a screen actor, I'm, I'm, I'm a producer and a director, but um, um, it's, it's a case where I feel we should have actually done more to be able to support the Screen Actors Guild. And, and, and even the, the Film Producers Guild, FPAC, you know, some of us, we're, we're negligent of the fact that we have to belong to it. Because um, it's not that we, we neglected the importance of these guilds. Um, to some extent, I, do, I, I, di I did feel that the, the actual purpose or the focus of these guilds that were set, you know, were not being, were not being um, implemented. They were, um, the, the, the bodies that were supposed to support the, the growth of these guilds were not there to support them the way they were supposed to support them. For instance, you have um, the National Center for Art and Culture, NCSC. NCSC is like, is like the bridge between the filmmakers and the government. You know? And um, if anything has to do with filmmaking, with theater art, or whatever the case is in Gambia, the National Center for Art and Culture is that bridge that connects the pieces together. You know, and, and I, I don't want to believe that we haven't had um, budgets allocated to theatre art in the country. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe um, the resources not there for government to be able to support um, theatre art or let's say support filmmaking in the country. But in the past, we haven't, we haven't actually seen that kind of support coming, you know, enormously from the government. We, we haven't seen it. Maybe it happened in some other places, some people saw it or whatever, but I, I, myself, I didn't see it. I stand to be corrected. <laughs> but I didn't see that kind of support from the government to say, you know what, we've decided to embrace filmmakers. We've decided to embrace filmmaking because we know this is, a, this, this is an institute, this, this is a body, this is a sector that can create thousands and thousands and thousands of job opportunities for young people. You know, I didn't see that support from the government. I didn't see that embrace from the government, you know. And so in the old turn, in as much the filmmakers, the president of the, uh, of the associations, they try to do as much as they can. But there's so much you can do within your powers as a president of SAGO, as a president of FPAC, when you don't have the bodies that are supposed to connect together, the pieces that are supposed to connect together, connecting to be able to give you the support. It's almost like a fruitless effort to be able to make the changes that, that you envision of it. So institutionalism is one of the key things that has been holding us back. But again, even, even when you talk about institutionalism, another thing that is so real that we need to talk about in terms of um, um, the things that have been holding us back, you, you, you talk about um, expertise. I'm, I'm not saying we lack it. Like, like for instance, um, some of the feedback we had from the previous um, 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 video, some people were talking that we, we, it's not like we don't have equipment, we have equipment, but we don't have the expertise to operate the equipment. <laughs> I was like, um, I, I don't agree with it totally. Um, I also don't disagree with it because um, this industry is a creative industry. It's something that needs to be branding, rebuilding, um, reinvigorating. It needs something. It needs that 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 exists to be there. 
and it needs to be encouraged, it needs to be nurtured, it needs to be, to be watered. It's like, a, it's like a plantation. If you have the plantation and you're not watering, you're not watering it, it dies out. It dies down. It doesn't go. It doesn't, it doesn't bear good fruit. So in as much we have experts in the country, but we need programs to be able to enhance or empower the skills of these experts that we have to keep them in the competition globally. We have few film programs in the country. We have few film workshops in the country. Thanks to the likes of um, Welt Film, uh, I must commend them. It's a German company that, that goes across African countries, you know, organize workshops and give um, filmmakers the platform to be able to come together and do short films, you know, and bring it out to the world so the world can see what African filmmakers are actually doing. You know, Welt Film normally organize workshops and get filmmakers to connect and do movies and stuff like that. So apart from a few like that and some other people that have been coming to do one or two workshops, we really don't have much going on in Gambia. And Gambia is a really smart country that a lot can be done. You don't need, you don't need tons and tons amount of money to be able to organize these mini workshops for filmmakers. You don't need a lot to be able to organize workshop, workshops for actors or actresses. You don't need much to be, to be able to organize festivals for filmmakers so they can have the platform that they can showcase their work. Because we find ourselves doing films in this country we don't even have distribution centers. We don't even have markets to be able to showcase these, these films that we're doing. Then again, again, it, 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 all, it all get back to a point to the fact that no matter how hard the filmmakers themselves are trying, no matter how hard the experts are trying, but they, they don't have enough to be able to, 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 to compete with the global market. I'm not, I'm not making excuses for filmmakers or the actors or whatever the case is, but they just need more. They need more, they need, they need workshops. We, we can, but well, again, someone will say, <laughs> the actors can come together, organize workshops for themselves, or filmmakers can organize workshops and things like that. But all of it, all of it takes money to be able to do. All of it, you need a resource to be able to do them all. And we need that resource. And that takes us to number three of the, well, some of the major things that, that is causing us to, to be falling back. Listen, no, no matter how we try to hide, hide behind it, without money, it's almost, it's almost impossible to do anything. Almost impossible. You know, you can have the passion for all you want. You can be so energetic. You can have the zest and everything. Like, I want to do a film. I want to get to Netflix level and all that. But do you know that the minimum cost for a, a, a Netflix graded camera, let's just say camera, if you want the black, the black magic, the pocket camera, you've got to have at least $6,000, six or $7,000. That's the least when you talk about equipment that Netflix qualifies to be able to, to get your film on their platform. And we, we, don't, we, don't, we don't have it. We don't. And, and again, it goes down to all our corporate bodies. It goes down to the government. You know, I, I've seen in this country where, as a filmmaker, you would take your project to corporate institutions for sponsorship. And you will find these corporate institutions just dumping your sponsorship proposal pump into their bin. They don't even care. They don't. You know, some of them, the best they can give you when you're ready to premiere your film after killing yourself to do it, they bring you one or two banners and and give you uh, a radio show, they feel like they've done, they've done more than enough for you. you know? and, and it kills me. It kills me because you, you have institutions, for instance, you go to the US, um, you have institutions that would, that would dive in, put in millions and millions of dollars into sponsoring works of filmmakers. And, and that's why they're doing great. That's why they're doing great movies. You go to Nigeria, you have corporate bodies that are investing money into filmmakers. And you go, you go to places like Ghana now, you go to places like South Africa, even Senegal, our closest neighbor, you have corporate institutions that are putting money, that are investing money into the work of filmmakers. And without investment, without money into this um, um, work that we are doing as filmmakers, it is almost impossible to be able to do great work. You can have a great story, you can have a great casting, you can have you know, great ideas and everything. If you don't have the money, to do a great movie, you're not gonna do a great movie. So investment, investment, investment is the bottom line. 
And I'm gonna say to the, I'm gonna say to you all, we have, and, and I've been emphasizing this, we have incredible filmmakers in this country. Incredible filmmakers in this country. And, 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 and we are allowing their passion, we're allowing their talent, you know, to go down the drain. We're not nurturing it. We're not, we're not investing our resource into nurturing this talent. Trust me, if we're able to just invest our time, invest our resources into this, this, this incredible talent we have in this country. Filmmaking is an industry that can boost um, the provision of thousands and thousands of job opportunities. At this end of this show, we're gonna, we're gonna feature a movie that was done in 2019. Um, well, we think 2019, 2020. We're gonna, we're gonna show you, yes, it was 2019, yes, time flies, you know. We're gonna show you from the, the snippet cupboard, we're gonna show you just an, an extract from a movie that was done in 2019, an incredible film. And, but before we get into that, um, let's just take a quick break. When we come back, we're gonna show you more and we're gonna talk about what makes a great movie and then we kick it from there. All right, stay tuned with us. This January, join the Riot On Film Project Mobile Cinema Tour as Wealth Film in collaboration with the School of Journalism and Digital Media, University of the Gambia brings you four exciting short movies to be premiered at four different locations across the Gambia. From Dusk to Dawn, The COVID Frontliner, Ramatulai, and Beyond Limitations. Four exciting short movies to be premiered from Thursday, 14th January 2021 at Lamin Babylon, Fridays, 15th January 2021 at Gunjung, Saturday, 16th January 2021 at BM, and on Sunday, 17th January 2021 at Kafuta, all happening at 6 p.m. Remember, it's a wealth film project in collaboration with the School of Journalism and Digital Media. Come and celebrate a night of creative excellence in the Gambia. All right, now to another very important thing we said we're going to talk about is um, what, what actually makes a great movie? What, what, how do you make a, a super movie? You know, this is for the filmmakers anyways. And because some of the time... Um, a lot of people in the past have complained um, as a result as why they're not watching Gambia movies and stuff like that. But I'll say to you, um, it is not an easy thing to, to make a movie. It's not just about you opening the camera and have an actor in front of it and bum movies made. That's not what it is. You know, we, we've, had, uh, we've had good movies com coming from the Gambia. We've had great work coming from the guys. Sometimes we have a little issues, you know, with the sound and, and bit like that. But there, there are things that actually qualify as a great movie. movie. And first, you, it all comes down to the idea. That's from the concept base. You know, when you have the idea and that idea, you have to transform into a script. You know, because um, whether it's a written script or it's a non-written script, or you need to have a screenplay, you need to have a script. When you have a script, then you start talking about your characters, you know, the characters that are in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the story. You know, casting is a very important thing when it comes to making a great movie. Because if you miss your casting, if you, if you misjudge your casting and, and, and you make the wrong casting, it, it kind of damage the story. It doesn't bring out the story properly. So that whole point of killing yourself to do your story and doing your screenplay and all that, you know, and you end up having the wrong characters to play it, it's, it's more or less like you ending up having a bad production, you know. And then when, when you're done with your characterization, when you're done with your casting, it goes now to the acting. Acting is important because the, the whole thing about what separate um, movies and our daily lives, because our daily life, I see it as a film anyways, <laughs> but what separates the two is based on the fact that a movie, you're going to act it. You know, you, you have different type of story. You have fictional stories, you have non-fictional stories. So you're gonna act it according to what, what the story portrays. You know, if you have, for instance, you have a, a non-fictional story, it, it is most important that the character that is chosen performs that story based on the character in the real story. You know, it, it's, it's, it's not an easy thing. That's why acting is very, very important. It's very important that the, the actors are able to, to fall in love with the script. Because when you have a script and you have an actor that does not appreciate the script, 
it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't complement well. So acting is really really important, you know. And and one other thing that's very important also to to take a note of is is your timing, you know. And and some some might look at timing as being irrelevant, but I would say to you, timing is very important. First of all, you, let's look at timing in a different aspect. You talk about timing in terms of your 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 storyline. You talk about timing, you know, in terms of your 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 your, your, your running time. You know, the time your movie runs for. Uh, if it's a short movie you're doing, obviously you know it's gonna be 40 minutes or less. If it's a feature film, you know it's gonna be 90 minutes, you know, or less of that. You know, you you're just gonna have that understanding of your timing. But again, it's not just about about your running time. It's about your production time. You know, and, and, and you have stages of making a, a movie. You have your pre-production, because you already have the concept, you have the idea, but you gotta start the pre-production. You gotta have a time frame for your pre-production. You gotta have a time frame for your production. You gotta have a time frame for your, for your post-production. You gotta have your time frame for your marketing and distribution. So timing plays a very important um, role in making a great movie. If you miss your timing, in them, even if you got all the other little bits um, together, they're all working fine, and you miss your timing, you don't, you don't, you know, you don't plan yourself properly, you almost like definitely plan to fail in, in the old production. You know, so timing plays a very, very important role in making sure you have a great movie. Till that problem is fixed with investment, we're gonna be, we're gonna continue having the issue with sound in the country, but sound is very very important, you know. And and I looked at sound at different in different levels. I look at sound firstly, you know, um, you, you talk about the 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 you know the the, the charisma of the actor. You talk about uh, how the the expression of the actors, how they how they kind of how they kind of speak, how they kind of express themselves on the scenes, you know. The, the, the sound levels that they're used to, you know, that, that, the pitch and everything. Sometimes you watch some of our African movies, you always, you know, get some very loud noise, you know, always shouting here and there. Sometimes the script doesn't even demand it, but you find the actors because they want to do much. You, just like I'm, I'm stressing it, they, they want to kind of, it's all, sometimes it gets them to even con start overacting. <laughs> you know, and because they, they, they want to express themselves and, and, you know, in a way that, contradict what the characters even um, um, explaining to them. So we have that problem. So that's one level at which I categorize sound. Now, then it comes to the equipment. It comes to the use of the equipment. You know, and, and you, you have different sound equipment. We, we have less, less equipment here because sometimes you need um, channel mixes and stuff like that, which obviously is very hard to find in Gambia. I don't know if we have them. I don't know if, we, if they're here or if they're reasonable. But we, we find ourselves not being able to get them, you know, and, and, and even with the ones we have, um, um, the road mics and the boom poles and all that we use, sometimes we don't even have enough windshields uh, to be able to, to you know, to, to just have a, a good sound. But, but again, 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 we look at it, no matter how bad our sound is, without money, it's almost impossible to get a better sound. Without money, it's almost impossible to get a good equipment to be able to do good jobs. So it comes again, everything comes down again to investment. It comes down again to our corporate institutions. It comes down again to the government, putting money into what filmmaking is all about. If we don't have that investment there, if we don't have our corporate bodies chipping in their resources to making sure we do proper movies here, you're going to continue criticizing what, what has been done in Gambia. But instead of you criticizing it, why not support it? When you support and then good thing doesn't come out, then you can criticize. And, and, and finally on this list, I will say, what is very important also in having a great movie is your visuals. May, and there are a lot of factors combined that, that give you a great picture. You know, it's not just the looks of the actor. It's not just the costume that they're using. It's not just the props. You talk about the locations that we're using. It, you, it's in the Gambia, you will go to a, a hotel and you know, solicit the sponsorship to be able to use their places you know, to do your work. They give you all a bunch of excuses. We don't have right locations to proper locations to do. It's not like we don't have the locations, but we don't have accessibility to these locations. That is the problem we have. And all these things combined together is what gives you a great visual. If you don't have a good location, no matter how crazy, how sweet, how powerful your storyline is, your location contradicts the storyline, 
it doesn't make a great film. It doesn't make a great movie. So we got to have these things put together to be able to do great movies in the Gambia. So let's, let's, let's get, before we go, let's just get into one of our cupboard and bring you um, a movie from 2019. It was done by um, Lamp House Production. I, I must say one thing about this film. Um, in terms of movie premieres in the Gambia, we've had crazy premieres and all that and stuff. But this was the first premiere in the Gambia that, that brought out a crowd of over 600 people. That's the, first, that's the first I've seen in the Gambia. And I must commend the filmmakers, the producer, um, Lamp House Production, Lilian Aziz, um, yes, Abigail, and um, everyone that was involved in it. You have Danny Constant as the casting director there, and a lot of other people that were there and, and stuff, and uh, the production managers, the filmmakers. This movie had a combination of Africa. <laughs> you have Malawians, you have Nigerians, you have Sierra Leoneans, you have Gambians. It's a combination of Africa, and that's what we want to see more of. We want to see that collaboration, we want to see that teamwork, that building, you know, that, that connection, that love, the passion. We want to see it all, you know. But take a time and look at this. This is Kant Avido. Antifatum, Gambia has changed, and clearly a fair share of its people aren't ready to change as well. Our universities have improved. <laughs> There is nothing in Gamma. Da, 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 I'm okay. And this is the money. 50,000. 50,000 just went to the You know, to go on this back way to I know it is illegal, but and, and you are finding a nice way of covering it up. We received the results back from the preliminary test that we took of Danny. And it appears that he's a lot more ill than we first thought. How bad are we talking about here, though? Well, it appears he has kidney failure. My baby is in pain. Mom, it's my fault. You and your friend better make sure my kids leave this hospital safe and sound, you understand? Otherwise, that divorce that your friend has been looking for will become a reality. <laughs> you want me. The principal want me. Even, even little Maggie, who has no idea about motherhood, she want me, and yet. I was just stubborn to listen. What do you think? Amazing, isn't it? Yes, it's it's a beautiful movie. If you've watched it and 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 you, you didn't get this kind of reaction, it means you didn't actually watch it properly. But it, it was it was a great work, and and I must first of all commend the the filmmakers that were part of it. And um, it, it's it was it was a job well done. But I, I think there are a few things that could have been better. And before that, first the, the actors are just incredible. Me, my favorite. Jackson, I, mean, I love this guy's voice. It, it has an incredible pitch. The, the, the tone of his voice, man, when, when he speaks, he, you just, you just want to get into it. You, 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 even if you're not listening here, you were having, watching it and having your popcorn and stuff like that, having the conversation at the corner. I mean, when Jackson speaks, it gets your attention. That's just how, that's how good the guy's voice is. So kudos to, to these guys. But, um, I just feel some of the, the scenes were, were a bit long, you know, they could have been shortened a little bit, make it more uh, interesting, you know, and, and again, the one thing we, we continue having issues with in Gambia has to do with sound. I still feel we had some bit of issues with the sound on, on, this, on, this, on this movie, and, and um, yeah, that, that could have been worked on better, but for the visual, you, again, we, we, we talked about the importance of location and getting the perfect visual for a great movie. You could see a good use of location in this movie. Great, great work done. You know, the pieces put together, the location, the props, you know, the costume and everything. Man, it was, it was, an, it was an amazing, it was, it was, this was an amazing work. And, 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 and yeah, well done to you guys, well done. But again, people, don't forget, um, we are still growing. Our passion, don't allow it to die because you don't have money to do a great movie. Keep on it. Just keep holding there. Keep standing. 
you know, keep moving, keep breathing, it's going to happen. Eventually, it's going to happen. And, and we, we continue to encourage our, our corporate bodies, our government, and, you know, we're investing to Gambian movies. We can do better than what you just saw on that screen. And, 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 and we can take Gambian movies to Netflix. We can take Gambian movies to the Oscars. Trust me, we can do it. We have the talents to do that. All right, so, and we, Gambia is still a virgin land. We have incredible filmmakers here. We have super stories that we've, we haven't even put on the screen yet. Gambia is a virgin land still, and we're gonna exploit this virgin land, bring out those stories, and tell the world what Gambia is all about. What, tell true Gambian stories that can compete in the global market. But until we all come together, collaboration, again, is important. Until we all come together, put our, put our pieces together, our craft together, our resources together, we still have a long way to go, but we're gonna get there. All right, this is, not, this is Snippet, and if you've been watching, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for our upcoming videos, and yeah, show us some love. Drop your comment in the comment section what you think we can do to get better, because we're not, we're not there, so just let us know your feedback, give us your feedback and everything, and just, just try and be polite, all right, don't attack anyone. Uh, we're just trying to learn from each other and making sure we're able to go together and able to, to amass everything that, we, that comes to us and be better. Because until we are able to establish a recognized film industry, we don't have a competition yet, but we need to have a collaboration to build an industry and that we can compete to make the industry better. That is the goal, all right? Until we see you next time, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. This is Snippet Gambia, and I'm Mr. Genius. I love you. Peace.